Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today I'm going to share my top 10 patio installation tips. Whether this is your first patio you're building or you've built hundreds, there's definitely something to learn. Let's check it out. Number 10. After you've excavated for your patio, compact the subsoil and slope it away from the foundation. If water gets under your patio, this will make sure that any water under there will still flow away from the house. Number 9. For your gravel delivery, use a tarp that's much larger than you think you need. Otherwise, you'll be spending hours picking rocks out of your grass. Number eight. Order more gravel than you think you need. You don't want to have to order a second time. Gravel is relatively cheap compared to the delivery cost. Number seven. Use plywood to protect your grass and don't mind the rain when you're working on your gravel base. The water will help keep the dust down and help with compaction. Number six. Your gravel base should expand beyond the paver footprint to support the edges and allow for paver edging. Number five. Spend a lot of time on the top layer of your gravel base. Compact until it feels like solid concrete. Make use of level straight edges and string lines. Smooth out any high spots and fill any low spots. Compact again. You should have an equal distribution of the larger rocks and the fines everywhere. Number four. For smaller patios where you'll need less than one yard of leveling sand, buy the bags and you'll save on delivery cost. Avoid using any bags that are waterlogged. The consistency will be different than the dry sand and it won't smooth out as well. Number three. Use metal conduit as screed rails. Confirm the outside diameter of the metal conduit matches the depth that you want for your leveling sand. The metal conduit will stay nice and flat and straight, and your screed board will move smoothly over it. After removing the conduit, fill the remaining space with leveling sand. Keep in mind that the leveling sand will compress about a quarter inch after putting your pavers in. This will matter where you have stairs landing at the patio to make sure that last step is the correct height. Number two. Use the plastic paver edging and the metal spikes. It's a really clean look versus a stone border and a hundred times easier to install. Number one. The pavers are the most expensive part of the whole project. If you're on a budget, people give away their old pavers just like this for free and they clean up really well with a power washer. And natural stone pavers like this are usually very expensive. People will buy these by the pallet for large projects and they'll usually have some left over and you can get them for half price for your smaller projects, 100 to 200 square feet, no problem.